Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the extract text and format date time activities under the string section. We will start off by creating a test variable of string type. So for that, uh, we will click on the variables panel, click on add variable and we will change the name of the variable from var1 to var test string. Make sure the type is of string. As for the default value, you can set any value of your choice. Uh, but I'll go ahead with hi. This is a test message. Okay. Next, we'll drag and drop the extract text activity. The extract text activity is used to extract certain parts of the text of a particular string variable. So in the input field, uh, as a source string, we need to give in the variable that we created uh, previously, which is var test string. As for our options, we have three options. Uh, that is before and before slash after and after. Uh, we'll go to each of them one by one. Now, I have our test variable copied uh, and pasted in a notepad. So this is the value of our uh, string variable. Suppose we want the text after this exclamation and space, that means this part of the text, then we use the before option. And here in this field, start after text, we need to type in, in double quotes, dub, uh, exclamation and space, since that's the text that we want this activity to extract, which means this is a text message. So the next section occurrence, like how many times does it occur? So once. Now we need to assign it to a new variable. So we need to create a new variable in the result field. For that, I'll uh, press Ctrl plus K and create a variable bar extract text. Now we'll display this variable in a message box. So I'll drag in a message box and I'll title bar extract text. Click on save out. Let's just run the sequence. As you can see, uh, we, it has shown this is a test message and initially the it is hi exclamation and then space this is a test message and right now this extracted this part of the string. Let's click OK. Now let's go with the before slash after option. Now this is to extract the text which comes in between. Like if we want the text, this is a test. Uh, so then we don't need high exclamation and message. Then we can do that by giving start after text is uh, exclamation and space. End before text is message and the occurrence is one. So as you can see, this part of the text comes after the exclamation in space and it ends before the space and message. So space and message. Let's just run this again. Okay, you can see it has given this is a test. Now we'll go and check uh, the after option. Here, yeah, it's already there. Like, uh, if we want the text up to this point, hi, this is a test, without the space and message, then we can give it the same thing over here. And let's just run the sequence. So here you can see, hi, this is a test. All right. Now we will move to the format date time activity. So I'll just go ahead and delete these two activities. So the format date time activity is to convert a date time variable to a format of our choice. So I'll just give an example. Uh, so if we want to convert a date time, uh, so in case I want to convert a date time, like I'll give a date time dot parse and any date. 
so I will write this slash 04 slash 1984 now in the next format section we can see a list of format that we can choose so I'll just go ahead with this particular format here it will return the month and the year so yeah and this is the value that I've given date time dot pass and the date time date 20th April 1984 now as for the output in the formatted date time we need to create a variable so I'll create a variable using control plus k var format date now let's see how the output looks like so what I'm expecting is to con uh, for this activity to do is to convert this date into month and year format so let's see if we are able to get the output you can see as you can see I had given it in the format of 20 slash 04 slash 1984 and when I change the format it returned the month and the year so that's all for this video thanks for watching